So in the first uh, step, we, I will close all windows because they will not help us now. So we have now the Pokemon class. And if we saw it here, um, and I told you earlier, I do not want um, that, for example, Squirtle can be instantiated by using a Pokemon. Sorry, this we don't need this. We I want to add. So I do not want this to happen. So Squirtle should not uh, inherit Pokemon, but it should just inherit Aqua. And Aqua, in turn, should inherit Pokemon. I want to avoid that. How can I avoid that? Um, I can avoid that by using abstract classes. I will explain you now in this video what this is. And um, let's create now the, the, the Pokemon class first. So we will create now a first a completely usual unspecial type. Let's do it. Class Pokemon. And here in this brackets, we can define some arguments that will be the inherited parts then of the class. We don't do it now. So in the next step, we create an init method. If you are used to Python or any other object-oriented programming language, this is the constructor. So um, what's th what this means is actually that a class in object-oriented programming is a template definition of methods and variables in a particular kind of object. Thus, an object is a, spe is a specific instance of a class. It contains real values instead of variables. So we can create like a blueprint, a Pokemon, and all the classes that implement this are then the instances. They contain then real values. For example, I can define a name for each Pokemon. I can say each Pokemon needs to have a name, but this is abstract. But then I say, okay, but the Squirtle has to have the name Squirtle. It's not abstract. It's not concrete. So you have this. You have a Pokemon and each Pokemon has a name. It has a level. It has attacking points. But Squirtle has just some certain name. Its name is Squirtle. Its attacking point is, let's say, 50. And, and its, 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 um, its next development is like, it's like, uh, the other one. Wait, I have to look at it. It's like, uh, War Turtle. Yes. So, um, this is then abstract. And this is the different, the, the difference between the class and the instance. So, uh, a class can have uh, subclasses that can inherit all or some of the characteristics of a class. In relation to each subclass, the, cl the class becomes a superclass. So, we have superclass. Pokemon would be a superclass. And if we look at our UML, Pokemon would be the superclass. And this is the subclass because this inherits from them. So, now that we know what objects are and what classes are, we also need to know what this init method is. And by the way, I wrote it wrong. It's like this one. This init method is called constructor. So this method is called always when I instantiate a new Pokemon. So everything what I write here will be defined to every new Pokemon. So let's do this now. So we need to think what, what characteristics does a Pokemon have? So. The self keyword always refers to the object, the instantiated object itself. And I will show you in a second what I mean with that. So let's, let's, let me type this in now. So we have a name and we have the static typing. So what I mean with static typing is I usually you don't have to do this. You can just write name and anything else and then you can go on with the next, but we will do this. Uh, we will try to do this with static typing. So we write the variable name. And we say we want this to be a string. So the next one is we have a poker text ID. If I open just the window again, I will assume that this is the poker text ID now. So every Pokemon has an initial ID. And you can define the Pokemon not just by the name, but also by the, by the ID. For example, Bulbasaur has the Pokedex of 001. We could use it as an int, but since um, I assume that we do not want to calculate with Pokedex IDs, I will just take it as an as an string. Then we have a level, of course, a level. Which level is the Pokemon at a certain level? Uh, it, it it just goes up and it it develops to the next kind of stuff, the next Pokemon. Like again here. Um, from Bulbasaur to Ivysaur, for example. Okay, so we have a level, and the level is, of course, an int, because we need to calculate with this. We have some living points, which is also an int. We have some attacking points, which is also an int. We have some defense points. 
this is an int2 and we have some attack. So attacks. I want uh, one Pokemon has multiple attacks and these attacks are typically stored as string and and string and int value. So we have an attack for example Bulbasaur is the attack tackle and tackle costs 20% damage. So um, let's do this then by defining attack as a list. And this list contains of a tuple of a string and an integer. So this is quite complex and we see we get some errors here because uh, Python doesn't support uh, strong typing. So we need to import this and we have a library for that. From typing import list tuple. By the way I saw that I may have made a mistake. Oh sorry, yeah we don't have to use brackets but uh, we have to use square brackets, not the round ones. So, and now we shouldn't get any error anymore. Just here. By the way, I, I think we don't need attacking points because we will put the attacking points here. I just think we need the defense points. So the difference between the the tuple uh, attack, for example, tackle, and it causes, for example, 20% uh, damage. Then um we also have the defense points so there will be some calculations that the higher the defense points the less uh, damage will this cause so i'm not sure whether we need attacking points uh, here but but let's keep them first um because we can remove them later let's keep them first this is also part of software development sometimes you 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 have to to sh to to get just the way and then in the end you will know what things do you need what methods do you need and maybe you also need to remove some methods and this kind of stuff so this is very typical so let's start i will actually i will just um pause the video and finish it so you don't have to wait all the time so let me just do it so this is now the the end class um what i just edited here was um was this init this returns also a type this is what uh, kind of returns and for init we typically use just none so we have now the self name and we assign the variable name to the self name we assign the pokedex to the self pokedex and the same for all the other other variables sometimes we also have variables that we do not need to instantiate because they stay the same for for every new instantiated class and we can add default values how do we add default values you can see it in the experience points. The experience points are, of course, zero for every new Pokemon. So with um, a certain experience points, you can get a level up. For example, every time when 100 experience points are reached, you get a level up. And you have also a fight status. It's a Boolean value. So even, even you are in a fight or you're not. Um, when we instantiate a new Pokemon, we will always assume that they are not in the fight. And of course, when we instantiate a Pokemon, we will always assume that they are uh, alive. So, when can this turn false? When actually the living points are zero or less than zero, but we assume that we are not able to be less than zero. So, if zero, this will turn later to, to false. And we need to code this, but we will do it later. I forgot here to add also that this is a pool. So, now. We will try to instantiate it. So I can explain you also what this init method is so uh, kind of doing. What I'm also doing in, 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 in Python projects is to create a new file and just call it playground. So I can just play a little bit around. And this is also doing some kind of unit testing. It's of course not the same, but, but it's, it's helping. It's really helping. We will see why. So of course we need, I want now to create a Squirtle Pokemon. And in Python, you don't need to use the new operator. In Java, for example, when you create a new object, a new instance of an object, you need to do use new and then Pokemon. In Python, we can just call this class like this. And of course, as we can just do it like that. And this will give us an error. First of all, we need to import this. So now let's execute this. You can see here the results of the execution. I hope this is uh, big enough. I will just increase the size a little bit. Okay, I I just hope it works, and uh, if not, I will I will re-upload the video. Um, so let's use it, and we see here um, type error in it missing seven required arguments: name, Pokédex ID, level, 
living points, attacking points, defense points, and attack. So we see this didn't work because we need to provide more information. Actually, we need to provide every information that is in that same, that is here in this line. So we need to create first the name, Squirtle. So Pokédex ID, I will just uh, invent something. This doesn't have to be true. This is just for demonstrative reasons. Level, let's start with 10. Living points, let's start with 60, 50, sorry, 50. Attacking points, let's do this 10. Defense points, let's do this 20. And attack, um, this needs to be a list, two point strings. So I will call this just tackle with an attack of five. So let's try it now. And we see it worked. So actually, if we can print Squirtle, and we will see that this is now a class. And we can also see where it is stored. So this is very interesting. And by the way, we can also get the attacking points. So we can access them like getters. We can get the name. And what what's happening here? So we see here this line. And actually, if we call this line, this line is executed. This init method on Pokemon is executed. And what is happening then is each variable that we assign is assigned to the self variable. So this is not anymore a general Pokemon class. This is now an instance. This is, this is a subjective class. This is a concrete class. So this is a Squirtle. This is not just an, a Pokemon with a name, a Pokéinix, but this has now a certain name because this Squirtle has now a name Squirtle and its its Pokédex is now not just anyone, any Pokédex, but it's it's like the 002. So this init method is assigning the delivered variables to the self variables. And this is exactly what what what's the difference between a general blueprint uh, of a class and and its instance. So this is the difference and this is what the constructor is doing.